<laughs> I'm finna be smoke. When I'm 86 years old, I'm finna be smoking hella weed, boy. I'm finna be smoking hella weed. I'm finna be that cool ass nigga that's passing on knowledge to all the young niggas that all the young niggas would love to come to is the porch. I'm finna be in my, my porch on a rock and it's rolling up and shit. Like, let me tell you when I was young and boy, you don't know nothing about XXX. I'm finna be I'm finna be on some crazy shit for real, for real. I can already see it. I'ma still have my tattoos. I ain't removing none of them too, so yeah. I can already see that shit. Where do you see yourself? Like, like Jamaica? Um, I'm definitely, uh, definitely either Jamaica, New Zealand, because I, I had this dream right when Ja passed away. He was, and it was so vivid and real. I cried when I woke up, but he was telling me to go move, go to New Zealand, move to New Zealand. So I still need to visit there one day. And and then I started doing my research on it. It's like the safest city in the world like like the, one of the greatest cities to actually live in and shit so i was like damn that's just worth checking out you feel what i'm saying so but um also so either new zealand jamaica or florida because all my family's in florida briar county mm -hmm. gang 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 you know we out here rolling loud shout out to montreality to the family you know we back at it again it's your boy beyonce in this bitch <laughs> How 10 year old Stokely seen the world um it's funny because when I was younger I used to think about like shit that I shouldn't be thinking about when I was younger so like when I when I, when I was younger I used to be in the car with my parents and just start bawling crying like damn we gonna die one day like and I'd be telling my parents like why the fuck we gotta die <laughs> like yo know, I'd be explaining it to them a whole thing and they're like why are you thinking about this shit you're just a young ass kid like nigga you gotta go, go play some ball or watch leapfrog or some shit but nah I was really like contemplating life at 10 years old fam for some reason I don't know why it's funny ass shit though crying to Rihanna and shit yeah <laughs> that has 10 years old yeah i think it was um umbrella I, uh, yeah i was probably a little bit older than 10 but yeah and then, yeah umbrella was my shit it was like my breakup song for my first love of my life that i had in middle school that i was like hey, you feel me like head over here i thought that shit was i thought i was gonna marry that girl at 10 yo i was thinking of some different shit back then bro funny ass shit tragic never been to a prom <laughs> um yeah i skipped school a lot <laughs> i skipped school a lot the niggas was not letting me go to no prom the niggas was not having it yeah <laughs> the niggas was not having it um i still gotta get my high school diploma actually so that's, a, that's another thing but um i was never a stupid kid i just never did my work you feel me like i was always the kid that people would be like He's so smart, but he just never does shit. Yeah, I just never would do shit. Because the shit didn't interest me at that time. It's weird, because now I'm really interested in that type of shit now. Like, science, especially some science and, and space and all that kind of shit. Like, I'm really interested. I could watch videos, like, our videos on that shit, like, over and over. Like, it's weird. I'm a nerd now, but back then, I used to hate that shit. <laughs> like, I used to hate that shit. But I love, I love it now, because it's like real life. You know what I mean? I don't know. So growing up in a Jamaican household is hard, bro. Hard as fuck, because they're so judgmental. Whatever they think, the first thing they think, they say that shit in a crazy ass accent. So I used to get judged for school, all kinds of shit. My sisters, my brothers used to come to a family reunion or some shit. And like, he, my name used to be Junior, because my name's Stokely, but my dad's name is Stokely. So I'm a junior. So they'd be like, Junior's being bad in school. And, and all kinds of shit and they used to just fucking let my ass have it and nigga i used to get beatings with wooden spoon wood wooden spoons nigga like anything weird that you could find and beat somebody with i was getting beat with like extension cords like my uncle my jamaican uncle he used to be, when he used to beat me worst time my worst beatings i feel like but it's because it never shows up. He used to do pressure points. He used to squeeze my pressure points. They get every pressure point. I'm talking about inside your finger right here, and like, and like you're right, like right here, bro. Weird ass spots, and they hurt, bro. If somebody squeeze your pressure points, they hurt. 
crazy. Like it's crazy, and it never and it doesn't show up. Feel me? Bruises don't show up. Nothing. So it's like the best whooping kind of good for it. You feel me? It's crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. But, some curse words. With some curse words. Oh, Raska. What a bomba clap. The, the, the um, um, crosses. They love saying crosses. Like it, it, the boy, the boy, the, bu- the boy, the blood clot crosses. The, this boy, a crosses. That means like bad luck or he just like not good or like good shit doesn't happen for this person or something. The boy, a crosses him, him a cries. Some shit like that. Some crazy shit, yeah. It's just so funny to me, you feel me? I wonder if that nigga Jay Z has seen that shit before, because I've done this shit for so long that I'm sure Jay Z's like, what the fuck is wrong with this kid? <laughs> I'm sure he is. So, Beyonce, I don't know. I, I just started calling myself Beyonce because I thought it was funny. And I just want and I'd be like, yo, I'm sexy like Beyonce or some shit like that. So I thought it was just funny as fuck. I, it's still funny to this day. So I'm, I, it's, it, the joke is still running. <laughs> the joke is still running. What can you tell me about RuneScape? Woo! What you know about that, boy? Damn. RuneScape um, is a game I used to play when I was young as fuck. I still play it to this day. I still play it to this day. I still got my account. But it's a game I used to play when I was young as fuck in middle school and shit. I used to steal my grandma's card to buy shit on there and shit and get scammed for a fucking rune plate body or some shit, bro. Like, I yeah, bro. RuneScape's a, a ruthless world. I ain't gonna lie, but it's it's a fun game. It's like a um, what is it? An RPG or is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like MMO, MMO. MMO. Yeah, yeah. So one of those, one of those. But it's a good game. It's like. It's like dungeons and dragons and fucking wizard spells and shit like that. If you're into that type of shit, yeah. I'll play I still play old school RuneScape too. Like that new that new RuneScape is ass for sure. Can you drop some names from RuneScape? Like items or like Hell fucking yeah. Uh Poison Dragon Dagger. Um Granite Maul. Um Dragon Skimitar. Any Skimitar. Um what else? Uh Desert Desert Treasure. Fucking What's the uh, ice barrage? That's a spell. Ice barrage is one of the best spells in that bitch. Um, what else? Lunar diplomacy. Uh, fucking what else? Man, it's so much shit. Lumbridge, Farak, fucking um, Alcarad. <laughs> in the desert, nigga. What? The Alcarid music goes stupid, nigga. I'm about to sample that shit too. The Alcarid music go dumb. I'm about to sample it. It's so far. It's like dun, 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 dun. that shit go fire. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. It's called like Alcarid one and two or some shit. If you look it up, that you gonna know. That shit's hard. Shit hard. Go. It go crazy. So what is my superpower that I feel like I have? Um, definitely my brain fam i i'm really like really inept like socially like i could really adapt to any type of human i really feel like and that shit gives me a lot of power and i feel like um it's funny because uh i feel like jose x used to live his life according to um a master key there's something called a master key in life, right? And I, I just started researching and learning about it. And I feel like X fucked with me so hard because I live my life, how I work and how my brain works, it's like off of it's like off of the rules. It's like there's there's no way to map it. You know how the master key teaches you about people and how to interact with people, and I'm just one of those people that I get around that. You know what I mean? And he was just so confused by me that he fucked with me that much. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. Man, that's just unexplainable. It's just like you had to be there for it, bro. Cause it's like the more I live, the more the memories start to like diminish, and it's sad. I hate that shit. But it's just like with age, you know what I mean. And so it's something that you had to be there to experience. These niggas had an energy that if you were with them doing anything, you would just feel them their energy. And it's just unexplainable. It's like something, it's like un- inhuman. It's like inhuman, fam. It's kind of inhuman. Like you would feel like you know you're with something that's inhuman. You feel me? Like, but it's so great. It was a great thing. It was a great thing to be in the presence of them people. I ain't gonna lie to you. Their energy was different, especially Juice and Ja. Ja was, Ja's energy was a little bit more like, it would make you feel kind of uncomfortable. Cause that's how, like, like, I don't know, his presence and his energy was just so strong, my nigga. And I feel like he worked on that purposely to make niggas feel that energy you feel what i'm saying like yeah 
shit with Ja. Bro, Ja was always there for me. Like, um, even when me and Ja was going through it and having our arguments, he would, we had the same manager. This nigga would literally tell his manager, ask the manager what my hotel room is, and I would go out. I remember one time I would go out, to, I went out to the, to the gas station and came back to my room, and this nigga's laid up in my bed. While we're, while we're fully arguing, I didn't even know I was gonna say, I come back, laid up in my bed. I look at my manager, he's like, can do anything. You really can't do anything because Ja used to beat niggas up. Like you can't tell Ja like, nothing. You, you gonna tell him no? He's gonna fight you. He's gonna fight you, no nigga. So yeah. And then um with Juice, man, I've had so many good like uh good memories with Juice. Me and Juice had a friendship that we never really talked about our problems because we just always enjoyed the like the, the the glad time that we were, the good time that we were having where we were together. So. Um, we were never the type to talk about our problems, but I remember me and Juice was just telling each other about each other. He was telling me about the shit that he does, which is, was like, and I was telling him about the shit that I do, drug wise and shit. And uh, we was just connecting, bro. We we just understood each other on like a on like a fucked up path. You feel me? Like, cause we've lived some fucked up lives. We just understood each other and we just enjoyed each other's presence. Like, I think he really respected me as a musician and I did the same. You feel me? At the same level. I think that's what it really was. I think when you guys first met, was it the day we did that interview with you? Was that the first day you met? Like I think so. Maybe. Maybe. But that was close to where, that was close to where I first met him and you see how close that we seemed. You feel me? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Like we we seem like fucking brothers. Like yeah, but to the people that was close to Juice, he, he he would do that, bro. Like he would make you feel like you know this motherfucker for fucking years. Like he would do that. Yeah, I'm in a chapter of I guess like just new new beginnings and new adventures. You feel me? I I really was just like figuring out life without my boys like after losing them type shit so like i was just figuring out how to maneuver without x or without juice you feel me and um just uh standing proud in my independence you feel me I, that's what i want to do and and just stop being scared of like putting out music and just stop being scared of shit for real so i'm just in like a new beginnings type of chapter hell yeah Man, Yeet, I took Yeet to his first strip club, nigga. Swear to God. On life, I took Yeet to his first. I've been fucking with Yeet for a long ass time, dog. I'm not gonna lie. Like, since before Yeet was even popping off with the Here's a Bell and shit. Like, I was on him. And then, so I really fuck with Yeet. I really fuck with uh, Ken. I fuck with Destroy Lonely. Um, I fuck with Fago. Uh, I fuck with BK the Ruler. BK the Ruler is a GOAT <laughs> to me. Um, I fuck with a couple people underground. Um, Summers is far. Um, shit, I, I, I can't think of all of them off the top of my head, but yeah. Beautiful fucking thing. The shit works, nigga, use it. Nigga, manifestation works. Nigga, use it. Nigga, use it. If you have a board at home, write something, right? Don't, and I don't like to call it a goal because if you don't reach that goal that you set for yourself, you start to feel like you're a piece of shit or you're a bad per or you you're not enough you know what i mean so set some things that you would want to happen down you feel me write it down or just visualize it when you lay down at night i used to literally i used to be homeless right with my with my girl back back then before music and we used to be in sleeping in her car and i used to visualize just me having money and i used to cry you feel me? Like, I don't feel like a man. I can't take care of you and all this type of shit. I used to cry while we're sleeping in the car and shit. But I used to visualize me really having this shit. Like, I swear to God, I could see it. I could see me with a new car. I could see me with a house. I could see me going crazy. And I would just be writing rhymes in the car. You feel me? Going to different thrift stores, stealing and shit, writing rhymes in that car, spitting them to her and shit. Like, I, I had some crazy ass times. I'm not gonna lie. Manifestation is a real ass thing, bro. You just gotta visualize it. You have to visualize it. You have to really see it and not just believe it but already know that it's like basically like it already happened you get what i'm saying yeah bro your thoughts are sh powerful as fuck thoughts are powerful as fuck bro that's why whenever i'm even trying to feel bad or, or whatever i'm starting to feel bad or sad or some shit i just try to just switch it up immediately and just start putting good thoughts because when you think good things good things happen you feel me like when you think bad things bad things happen that's how i feel 
definitely is definitely is needed crying is needed but i haven't been crying recently because i don't know sometimes i feel like my crying is like some movie shit like it's all pent up it's like this it's like a movie scene like everything gets pent up and everything's bottled and i'm just like or some shit you feel me like it's always a movie scene for me when i'm crying especially if i'm crying in front of somebody it's like a movie scene like yeah bro but um i do cry though i do cry i feel like it's good to release things at some point at some point you need to cry fam you have to you feel me like everything's not okay all the time you gotta cry and let that shit out sometimes whether it's by yourself or with somebody you feel me but yeah that's hard uh the most romantic thing i've ever done is difficult because i'm kind of not well i am romantic but i'm horrible at planning shit so <laughs> i'm horrible at planning shit so probably like flew out the country with somebody and yeah flew out to puerto rico i remember i had a trip to puerto rico i flew out to and i was just like trying to treat the person like you feel me kind of romantic and shit so yeah yeah you feel me a little puerto rico trip <laughs> a little puerto rico trip but i'm horrible with planning shit so like i could say like the movies nigga i love the movies that's my favorite spot to take a bitch if i'm gonna do something a date that's the first thing i tell her movies they'd be sick of it they'd be sick of it because <laughs> that's the only place i'd be going with they at how I would describe love, love is um, when you just can't control the way you feel about somebody, I guess you could say. When you can't control it, when you're thinking about somebody or you want something good to happen for somebody or you just can't control it. It's not even like you're purposely doing it. That's when you love somebody, like when you subconsciously, you feel me? Like when you subconsciously see yourself doing for something for somebody, that's, that's when you really love them, you know what I mean? I think love is a difficult thing, difficult as fuck hard to explain okay okay look look look, look, look uh -huh. cheese look cheese mm-hmm need a dish speak any nah but i speak jamaican because i'm jamaican and shit you know what i mean dog bomb my cat bad man a chili dog eat this a little pizza yo let me tell you oh shit. I hate the pieces where the whole cheese comes off. Do I cook? Yeah. See, I can cook, but I'm like, my grandma used to teach me a whole bunch of rest Jamaican recipes, but my brain is weird with the information it holds. You feel me? So it's like, I would really have to call my parents back up and ask them how to cook that shit again. That's what I, but I mean, that's what they there for. You feel me? So <laughs> that's what they there for. They'd be happy as fuck. Yeah, yeah man. Add the, add the nickel. With, with the nickel. <laughs> that should be funny as fuck. For sure, nigga. I'm still tapping into the, the ramen. Cup noodles? What? I'm, what? I'm five-star in that cup noodles, nigga. <laughs> I'm adding all kinds of shit to it. And then, um... Shit, my favorite... I used to love bread, nigga. I, I love bread. Bread, peanut butter, jelly, like... Bread and butter is my shit. <laughs> like, I swear to God, it's my shit. So, yeah. Oh, got a little Coogee on, you feel what I'm saying? Coogee, Rick Pants, Rick Owens, Montclair uh, shoes. Um, Apple Watch, they were them priceless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Durag, priceless. <laughs> Hell yeah. And the Yu-Gi-Oh chain, of course. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't have the thing in the middle right now, but yeah. You your chain. Also, I'm I'm really happy I got it too, cause I re I've been really big on the um the, uh, Egyptian shit. Yeah, I've been looking up and researching this shit. So, so last night I was hanging out the window, <laughs> and um I bumped my, like so if I so this is magnetic, so if I like move crazy it, it'll just open. So I was hanging out the window. I stuck my head out the window. I'm just turning up, shit, cause this shit comes out. Like you could take it out if you want to. This shit, bro, it came out and fell outside the car while we're driving. I'm like, damn, y'all. That shit gone. Fuck it. They're like, what? Nigga, what? N nigga, niggas did a full U-turn. I'm like, y'all seriously about to go look for it? By this time, I'm fucking gone, nigga. I had too, way too much to drink. Fucking. <laughs> they actually found that shit, dog. I thought it would drop because look at it. I thought it would roll or some shit. You feel me? They actually found it. Still, still in good condition. I was gonna leave that shit though, for sure. Damn, that's a good question. 
What is my message to the youth? Man, don't fall trap to what the what everybody what it seems like you're supposed to be doing to make you cool you could do whatever the fuck you want to do to and still be cool like you could you could literally be do the nerdiest shit and still be a cool ass nigga and bitches will still fuck with you don't fall into the trap of you need to be in a gang you feel me because usually that shit always ends up in jail or dead you feel me and you're gonna be cool for a second but your ass gonna be in jail for the rest of your fucking life manifestation see your future See your future and live it out like that shit's going to happen. And, um, man, just enjoy your youth, bro. Don't, um, don't be trying to grow up too fast. I know probably people will tell you that shit, but I regret trying to grow up too fast and just not being a fucking kid. You get what I mean? So just be a fucking kid. And then when it's time to be grown, don't worry. You'll get there. Dead ass. You'll get there. <laughs> to talk to people that's sad and depressed right now, man, honestly, that shit does not. All you need to do is get a different perspective look at it like this and it's hard but just start keep keep this in mind how you look at things means is is what it determines of how bad it is you get what i mean so you could really be in a situation that you think is the worst but how you look at it you could really change anything to the good and nothing good comes well everything good comes after bad you get what i mean you don't know what's good until until you had some bad shit so let the bad ride the bad shit out you feel me ride the sad shit out ride it out feel me with pride and then watch mark my words that shit doesn't last forever you're gonna be happy everything has to change sometime hey 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 it's your boy ski mask the son of god shout out to montreality my family at montreality i appreciate y'all boys um what else could i say thank y'all for pulling up today dog montreality show Manifesting myself here. I'm pretty sure Juice manifested himself here. Yeah, bro. All that and it goes to like speaking shit into existence and yep. all that shit. Thinking bro. shit into existence, speaking shit to existence. How big is your goals? 